Today is Friday, August 28th, and we have our copy of Snow Leopard. This was released today. I got this single user pack. It's also available in a family pack, which has five users. And the first thing you probably notice is it's kind of ugly. Here's an image of the old leopard box. And if you notice, this is kind of crappy compared to that. Um, I was kind of hoping for something prettier, but whatever. It's not a big deal. Snow Leopard is not really a full operating system compared to their leopard release. It just has little refinements just to make Leopard a little bit better. And here's the side of the box, version 10.6, Snow Leopard. Here's the back, just give, tells you the details and how it's pretty much just a refinement and how it just improves some small little things. The other side here just has the requirements and here's a reminder for all of you. If you're a power PC user, this will not work on your system. So stick to Leopard. Here's the bottom, this just has all our details which you won't see, and now let's just get straight to the unboxing. I'll grab my razor blade over here, and we'll just go ahead and slice a little slit through the top. I'm going to do this nice and fast, so let's get that down. Let's put this razor blade aside, and we're just going to go ahead and pull down the plastic right here. There we go, and here's the cover. It's nice and naked now, so let's just go ahead and open that up at the top. And there's just a little tab, and just one little thing, so let's just pull this out. Alright, and now nothing else is in the box, nice and empty. And we'll put that aside. Now, let's see the front, designed by Apple California, just like usual. And we'll check out the inside here. We have, we're greeted with the uh, Apple install DVD. Let's put that aside now. CD's kind of ugly actually. I was kind of hoping for something pretty, but whatever. Just like the cover, it's ugly. Here's just the install brochure thing. Let's look inside it. Install Snow Leopard, there's the hard steps, which you don't have to read because I'll take you through that. There's Expose, they updated that apparently. Um, Safari 4 is included, QuickTime X, which we'll go through in the review, Microsoft Exchange support, there's a few little things that they really should have had, but they just added it now. Just close this up, put it aside. And a few things that it also comes with are like the typical Apple things, which is like a sticker, and yeah, that's it. <laughs> So now let's go to our computer and pop it in and install. Alright, so now we want to go ahead and plug our computer into charge. And after that we want to take out the CD and actually put it in our drive. Now we're on our actual installation. We'll just hit continue. Hit agree. Hit install. Make sure it's on the right hard drive first. Then hit finalize it by hitting install. Now we're going to type in our password, which I'll type mine in real quick. Now it begins to install. So while we're waiting, make sure you subscribe to my YouTube page, youtube.com slash go geeks, and you follow me on Twitter, twitter.com slash go geeks. Now our install has finished. This will take a long time, and we're just going to restart our computer. This boot will be pretty long, so once it's finished, you'll get this welcome video here, which is the same exact one as Leopard, but I mean, it's not a big deal. I guess it wasn't big enough for its own welcome, but it's okay. Um, so make sure that you check out the playlist or subscribe to my channel so you get updated for when my full review is released. and little features that I noticed in Snow Leopard that Leopard doesn't have.